Yes, Digital Primark family, hope you guys are well. Guys, on this video, I want to show you exactly how to change the aspect ratio on Mid Journey and just make it real simple for you. I'm going to show you how to actually design things with different aspect ratios real quick. It's just the simplest thing ever. I'm going to show you right now. But as usual, if you love digital products, so you're creating, researching, listing, and all of that mad stuff, then please hit a like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. Don't forget to check out all my videos on Mid Journey, guys. So many, so many designs. Anyways, let's go. So listen, I just typed in uh, on Mid Journey. If you go to the docs in Mid Journey, it actually gives you all the information. So I'm on the page right now, and you can see it gives you ID examples of the different aspect ratios and what they look like when you type them in, right? Which is obviously however you want it. You might want it portrait, square, landscape, um, you know, real, real kind of longer than you, three by two, seven by four as well. All sorts, right? You've got it all here. But um, and then what it does is actually shows you what you write in a prompt. So look at this. Imagine prompt, and it's just giving you an example. Vibrant California poppies, uh, dash dash AR, which is aspect ratio, and then putting in the actual um, whatever the ratio you want to put, like there, two by three, right? So let's just hop on very quickly. I'll show you exactly how to do it. Real, real simple. So let's get on to mid journey. My go to AI. So let's just do this real quick. Anyway, so let's say I want to do a bit of wall art, right? I want to do something. I want to say uh, botanical, botanical flowers in watercolor. I'm not going to make it long. I'm just going to do it real short for you guys, just so you can see. And then what you need to do, you need to do space bar. Remember this because it won't work. Dash dash AR, right? Space bar. So let's say I want a four by three, so a landscape-esque style, let's say. Uh, and that's the landscape, uh, that's the aspect ratio that I want, yeah? Click enter, and it's gonna do its thing. Give me four different design ideas, as it always does. Um, aspect ratio four by three, yep. So it's gonna give me that kind of landscape kind of look now. And then I'm just gonna very quickly show you like uh, doing a portrait style one exactly the same sort of method right there you go so that ratio works perfectly well for what i need do these beautiful botanical flowers in a watercolor styly right easy 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 there you go obviously you choose what you want and then upscale da -da -da, but obviously this video that video is for another day um yeah so you can see literally that you've got the exact aspect ratio that you're looking for and here's what I'm saying to you. That's pretty much done. Right, beautiful. So if I wanted to upscale, I don't know, number number three, because I like it maybe, then obviously I would take it as it is. Now, let's just do something slightly different. So obviously we can use the same prompt. Well, let's just use the same prompt anyway. Copy and paste that. I'm actually going to copy and paste that aspect ratio, but I'm going to delete. Copy text, go to here, go to prompt, imagine, prompt, uh, paste that. Okay, just let me delete all of that. Copy all that stuff I don't need. And now I'm going to do slightly different. I'm going to do it like a sort of portrait style. Yeah, I want a more 4 by 7 right? 4 by 7 Aspect ratio. Click enter. Don't forget, check out all my videos on how I create designs in Mid Journey and everything else through AI. Um, there's a playlist there. So this one is going to be slightly different uh, aspect ratio. I just wanted to just to show you that it can do this quite quickly. There you go. So the aspect ratio is very different. But you see, it does it does what you what you require. And again, I've got botanical flowers, but in that format. Okay, I mean, that's literally it, guys. That is literally it. Now, obviously, you want to make sure that you've, whatever you're taking, you've upscaled it sufficiently. You want it to be a good resolution, good quality. So just a few tips I'm going to give you um, with, uh, with Mid Journey is let's say that you like, I don't know, this one, number three. So you upscale, actually, number two is better. <laughs> actually, number one, no, I'm joking. Number two. So you upscale number two, let's say you like it the best. Right, I'm gonna give you a couple of tips, because obviously you wanna whatever you're doing, you're probably gonna try and sell it or or upload it for something. If you are, then you want the quality to be good. Now that's upscaled. Now obviously with Mid Journey, 
uh, if you subscribe, depending on the level of your subscription, you want it. You want to have the one where you upscale 4x. 4x is when you when you know that quality is going to be decent, right? It's going to be about 4,000. At the minute, it's about 1,096 by 1,096 pixels. What you see right now, okay? And in this case, it's not going to be enough if you're going to use this for some kind of wall art. You're going to have to go 4x, right? That's not going to be enough. Now you're going to have to expand that. So what I would suggest is you go and click 4x. Now what you're going to find is with the upscale of 4x is that image resolution is going to be way, way better. Well, times 4. So it's going to be about 4,000 by 4,000 pixels approximately. Okay? And that's how you kind of make sure that the quality is much better. Now that takes a while to upload, but literally um you can validate verify that once you download you can go to the properties of the file and just check that so guys something that i've completely forgot to show you i wanted to add this in um so i add, i'm adding this bit in in the video um which is you not only can you go with aspect ratios like you know four by three three by four whatever it is all these kind of ones where they're kind of maybe not exact mid -gen, with mid -gen, you can actually get very very specific right very specific with sizing so let's say for example you want to do a mug wrap or you want to do a tumbler wrap but you need to get that specific 20 ounce straight skinny size or whatever it is you're doing you can be real specific with mid journey right let me show you just very quickly by demonstrating this so i'm going to go to imagine and then i'm just going to put a paste in a prompt that i've got okay now I've just typed in Halloween watercolor design with pumpkins and bats. Let's say I wanted to do a Tumblr wrap for Halloween. Let's say, right? Just We'll just do an example. I'm being very quick. I'm not being very detailed with a prompt either. So what I'll do is I want an actual straight skinny um, size, which is uh, 9.3 by 8.2, right? Uh, 9.3 by 8.2. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to make sure that I do the size in pixels so if i show you something just very quickly just so that you can see the verification with this right um this is a size you can see in the top corner i did a canvas size of 9.3 inch by 8.2 okay now if i was to download this the thing is it will show me what it is exactly in pixels so you can see in pixels 9.3 by 8.2 is 2000 by 1763 pixels okay um, so what I do is remember this can be applied to many many different things different size of tumblr wraps it can apply to um, mug wraps um, not so much clip art because clip art you really don't need to adjust mid journey size you can just do it as it is right mid journey uh, with clip arts is fine as long as you 4x it and make sure it's 4096 by 4096 well upscaled you're good to go so literally what I'll do is I'm going to use 201763 as my size which i've typed in here you can see it i hope my face is not in the way for that but when i click enter you'll see it i'm going to click enter now remember dash dash ar aspect ratio 2000 by 1763 now this one is specific to um a 20 ounce straight skinny tumbler wrap right size and the reason why we want to get it right in the first place is so that we don't have to overstretch it when we take the design into um probably kittle I'm using uh, Canva just for the just for to demonstrate this, but I would tend to take it um, into Kittle, which is a, another software, because then I can make it like technically 300 DPI, right? And that's what I like to use. But let's say um, I've done this, and you've got your pumpkins and bats, mate, in that watercolor style. Look at that, mate. Mmm, very dark, very dark. Right, I'm gonna use that second one. So I'm gonna upscale number two right one time but listen literally what i would tend to do is i'd upscale by four so i'd 4x right just to make sure i got that resolution mm, on point right so i'm going to save this in my documents go to save as in my downloads right save it there boom and then i'm going to go back to canva and i'm going to just demonstrate right this with you now, the thing about this is it makes sure that it's all in proportion because that canvas size and my design is the same. It's just that when it comes onto here, I just need to uh, increase it as in like stretch it out, but in proportion, which is what you want. 
you don't want to stretch it from one side or the other so let me go to upload files go to that new pumpkin and back design man with that little little uh castle in the background and then uh click it boom right so look at it it's in proportion so where i stretch the design look it's stretching in proportion that means from each corner i'm not stretching from side to side i'm stretching literally from each corner look at it it fits perfectly look at that boom right not overstretched not not because you don't want to stretch the design out in a weird way it won't look good but can you see that is how it is in proportion and all you need to do is go share download obviously download it how you like and just double check look at the size see look at the size 2000 by 1763 which is exactly the same pixel size as i've got on my journey boom there you go now this is absolutely fabuloso because it works for mug wraps when you want to get that specific but like i said with regards to clip arts it's an you don't need it you just do your clip arts just do the standard style of mid journey download it but just make sure you upscale by four that's all you gotta do guys that's that's uh that's really 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 cool feature with mid journey really really nice so yeah i love it my i love it a lot anyway guys as usual if you love the video if you got any comments drop it in the drop it below but as usual, if you love digital products, get up creator research and listing, all that mad stuff, please hit like, subscribe, smash that notification bell. Don't forget to check out all the links in my description for everything that I use and all of that stuff. See you on the next one. Take care.